Wait, what? Super new airship? Goliath. This is it, bro. The Empire's new creation. The super airship Goliath? It's beyond big. It's, it's Ellie. As I said, it's beyond big, Ellie. The Goliath is of extraordinary magnitude. It said that the Goliath can even make a gear look like a pea. Really? Who compares stuff to peas? It's rumored that it can even decimate the Ave capital Bledovic all by itself. He said Bledovic. Not, not Ave. Whatever. A little different. According to my reliable sources, it's located north of Keyslev in an underground dock at some military facility. North of the capital. I know that facility I've talked to you about before. The Imperial facility I infiltrated. I never knew that something like that was in the basement. Do you remember how you infiltrated the base? Yeah. Way north. Thanks, thanks for the specifics. Beyond the carved out portion of the mountain peak lies the Imperial City's military facility. Good, let's take that before the Empire decides to launch a counterattack against Ave. Whoa. So those were uh, quite a bit of, uh, of heavy cutscenes that we had there. You wanna buy something now? Just kidding, I'm all out of items. Thanks, thanks Hammer, you're a lot of help. So I am going to save up and uh, when I come back, we'll, we'll have something something to do in town. Be right back. All right, and now that Ellie has officially joined our party, let's take a look at her stats here. I have already equipped her with uh, the metal jacket and the leather hat. She came with some crappy stuff. Uh, taking a look at her death blows, she's got none. And she's trying to learn her first one, and she's about halfway done with it. Looking at her abilities, doesn't look like she's really learned anything new since we last talked to her. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fix that eventually. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you about Master Rico, Ricardo. You've seen Ricardo. Says he can't help us though. I see. He has his own path he must take. Let's go. We have to hurry to Ave. Uh, yeah, I know. Whatever. If we go through the front d gate, we might have to fight the guards. I'm cool with that. Once we break through, fall in behind us. That's my specialty. Leave it to me. Put up a good fight. Of course. Of course. Yes. Our destination is the Imperial Military Facility up north. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Totally said that to the player. Just a minute. There's something I have to tell Ellie. I love you, Ellie. I know I don't really know you, but I feel like I've known you forever. I, I don't date rodent people. Sorry, man. Good luck in breaking through the front gate, bro, and you, Satan. I don't know what he says. I forgot. Okay, so we're back in town. Awesome. Oh, sweet. We found the car already. Now, there's not much you can do in town here because it's kind of under martial law. You can tell by everybody running around constantly. I wasn't there. Wasn't this where Big Joe was? Or was this the way out? Oh, this was where Big Joe was. Somebody dropped something here. Yeah, you get an M disc if you give him that uh, 5,000 G. What's that good for? Well, if you go back into the Wildcat, you can put it in the jukebox. Right. I. See if it works? Let's listen. A theme. Truck. Kinda nice. A battle.
And there we get the battle music. Dungeon. Dungeon music sucks. Nature. Yeah, it's okay. The world. I like that one. That one's pretty good. Requiem. Eh, it's okay. And emotion. You guys play that like all the time. All right. So, so that's it. Yeah, five thousand, five thousand G, well spent, right there. That's what you get for it. Now, I do want to go to the shops here because they have upgraded. Now, let's see. I remember how to get to the shops. Leave. This is one right here. Yeah. What do we got? It is right here in my shop. What can I buy from you? You can buy a hot rod. Which we will definitely get. Um, I do need a metal helmet. And um, the rest of it I don't really need. So we're good. Please come again, of course. Whatever you say. Now, I don't think there was actual gear shop here, was there? Because I could use some gear upgrades. Unless this was it. What's up, dude? We're the tool shop! Right. What? What do you actually have? Oh, item shops. Sweet. Now, you could get 99 Omega Souls, just, just in case. And you can also get the Aqua Souls asses. I'll probably get all this off screen. At some point. I'm trying to leave, thank you. Yeah. Now I don't remember where the gear shop is. Hold on for one second. Yeah, there isn't a gear shop. That's what I thought. Okay, now try to head south out of the entrance here. The, the exit entrance. Whatever. Same thing. They said everyone has two or three people that look exactly like them in this world. Yes, of course. It can't be him. Even if he was that wanted guy, what chance would us mere gods have against him? He's the ex-battling champ. Wait, ex-battling champ? He didn't kick my ass. Nobody kicked my ass. Okay. Hey, that guy, he's the ex-champ who broke out of the arena with his gear and is now wanted. Damn, we're done for! Run away for now? Are you kidding me? We're breaking through. We're doing this. I think that's just an option to, to keep going around town or whatever. Yeah, we're, we're not solid snaking our way out. We're master chiefing our way out of this thing. There's no way we can beat the champion. Whoa. And down they all go. Eureka! Thanks, Faye. Who else looks like him? I changed my mind. I'll leave Norton for a while until things calm down. You plan on sieging the new Mega Battleship Goliath? Well, I'll give you a chance up to the city limits. You don't want to fight together with us? I don't intend to become friends with you guys. I have something I have to do. And I have to do it on my own. When we leave the Imperial Capital's precincts, you can let me out anywhere that is convenient. Okay. Right. I suppose so. We better get out of here before other guards who heard this scuffle come causing us trouble. You could totally wipe them out again. North lines of the outer Imperial City area, right? Then the Keyslip Imperial Capital's military facilities await us. We had better make haste. 
And then he just storms off. Hey, is that Big Joe? What's up, Big Joe? You want to hear about my super muchacho information? Give it back to me now. That's just a minor thing, being picky will only turn you into a boring adult. You've got to be, how would you say, more open and deep like the sea. The sea of sand? You, lis you, know, you need to listen to my super muchacho information. But keep it up and you'll just piss me off. You're all in a group, right? In that case, you need to change your party. If you go to the Wildcat Pub, there'll be a new waitress. If you ever want to change your party members, just remember to stop by there. One more thing. There was a deep, deep reason. As deep as the deepest ocean for doing what I did. As a way of making up for it, go back to that back street one more time and search the area. You just might find something good. For real! I already did. It was a freaking sound test thing. Again. But he did provide us with a little bit of good information here. We can switch our party members around just a little bit. So I am going to go do that and... I believe I want to level up a bit here. So I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm just going to do some death blow grinding right now off screen. And I'll be back with my final party ready and set to go. Be right back. Okay, and I've done all the death blow grinding that I want right now. As you can see, everybody's kind of leveled up just a bit. Faye actually learned uh, Ryujin. He leveled up to reach that one. We still don't know Koho, but you can do Ryujin at square, triangle, X. Rico learned everything up to this point. Good lord, that's a... Uh, well, after Death Drive, he learned Benderas. Dragon Fist, Firebomb, and then he's already uh, done enough death blow grinding for Pile Crusher and Spin Strike, but he's not high enough level to learn that yet. He needs to be level 38, it looks like. And Ellie has learned Screamer, Cyclone Kick, Breakthrough, Double Shock, and Sky Attack, and done enough to learn Bright Spark and Sting Kick once we get a high enough level. Once again, I think it's 38. In terms of gear, because there is gear um, in the... Uh, in, in D block where also you can go back and sell all your stuff and, and rest up and all that kind of stuff you can see that I do have um, well it's really hard to see what I've got everybody here uh, but I do have the, the extra AR plus three old circuit and beam coat on steer I'm gonna keep the magnetic coats on well tall and for Vierge I did upgrade to the hot rod G she's got light AR plus one beam jammer and old circuit um, I upgraded um, the HP on Steer up to 6,900. Upgraded the HP on the Vierge to 4,000. I believe the fuel went up to 3,000 as well. Uh, you definitely want to get the, the HP upgrade on the Vierge. She was only at 1,500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Um, let's, let's show you how you get... Um, somebody else in your party because honestly I don't want Ellie in my party she's a she's a black mage and I don't like black mages for just walking across uh, the world map so yeah this is how you do it would you like to change members yes yeah, that's how you do it good so basically I want Satan in my party instead of Ellie because, you know, like I said, Ellie's a black mage, so her attack is really low, and then, you know, her MP is really low, actually, as well. So I'm going to get Satan. He's my white mage, and then he can help Faye with the healing. And we will head north to fight the Goliath next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.